to a new vlog. Um, I this is just gonna be a mishmash of stuff, like it always is. Um, I was gonna film a whole vlog like the week before I got married, and I got too excited and I stopped filming. Also, I was working a lot, and so I'll insert some of those clips here, and then yeah, I don't know what this is gonna entail. Subscribe if you want. I sometimes post vlogs. So Liverpool have the River of Light festival going on and I love it. It's just bringing people into the city. It's wholesome, it's cute. And this is just like our walk into town. So it's pretty cool. Rock and do. Rock, rock, rock. You're gonna get it. 25 quid. I think you should get it. It's one of the boys. We're on tour in America, that is so funny. <laughs> He's got his hair cut! Woo! Fresh for the wedding! Guys, we went to get ginger <laughs> and it looks like tux. He is so unbelievably cute. I, I can't. I actually can't cope. My baby we're just um trying to shop for wedding outfits and there's like there's nothing there's nothing i was just saying everything looks the same everywhere nothing has evolved it's just it's not it's not giving the high street is not giving it's giving nothing it's giving nothing why is that so fucking funny lola got me a brew thank you i need it because it's like i need the caffeine because we're shopping all those red trousers oh. oh my gosh i need every single pair of these it's just like a big i haven't been in it yet oh, so i like i look at these new crystal i feel like i look it's time for some tumbles this is it at night it's so cute i don't know if i've already vlogged it but yeah i've just had my eyelashes yeah. done and they're so cute and the woman who did them was amazing she was like please come in the day before your wedding so i can like touch them up for free i was like oh my gosh hun no i was like thank you so much they're so cute um but i'm working i was like i can't i'm sorry she was like come in friday i was like i'm actually not working friday because i had a job cancelled so yeah so cute so i'm gonna go in on friday and she's gonna touch them up Moving down. Now I'm off to meet my favorite people in the world, Nicole. I'm so excited. How does it do? It's the gang. It's turned. <laughs> so this is my last night as a Hawthorne before I get married tomorrow morning. It's giving. I want to be 
feed your wife, the light feed. Before you got to go, baby, it's crazy. When I'm walking down the aisle, boy, and you see, see the dream of me. Yeah, I, I can message you. I can message you. I also don't want to moist something. Yeah, it's <laughs> way home. It's a very grey looking day today. Yeah, just ignore the state of me. I literally had to swim out of bed. I woke up, well, my alarm went off at six. I didn't wake up straight away, but then turned to my cat was like tapping me on the shoulder like, wake up. Because at the minute, because Pfizer's on tour in America, <laughs> Turtle sleeps next to me in like a replacement. <laughs> of Faisal. Um, but yeah, my coffee machine's broken. I don't have any coffee, but I've been coming out every morning and having a little walk just to wake myself up. Also, I get really bad SAD, so I feel like yeah, it's good to just get out. And I've got a lot to do today, so this is going to wake me up. It's so rare to find that hardly anyone looks to be your statue. Someone's got a trip. There's a dog. Oh, cute. It smells like the sea. I love it down here so much. Would you be quiet please? I'm trying to film. So when we moved here at the end of Jan, it was like this every morning. The docks were just empty because obviously it's the middle of winter. It's just a nice way to wake myself up. And because this is on my doorstep, like why would I not use it? It makes me feel peaceful. So Skinny Dip have sent me some more bits and thank you so much, I've got this new phone case and oh my gosh, I've been wanting one of these for so long. So yeah, thank you very much to Skinny Dip for sending me these bits. I do have a discount code, a referral code, so I'll leave that link below. I am very grateful, so thank you. Um, I just shot a picture for it and this, oh my god, that's my coffee machine. Um, I don't know if I've explained it, it's a really long story, so basically, in 2014, when I was like prepping to go to drama school, you obviously have to buy like, um, you have to, you have to get everything, don't you, like pots, pans and stuff like that, and so I was like saving up, um, I was like buying myself like tea towels, like, like a couple of things a month to go to drama school, and my nan and granddad were like, oh can we help you, and I was like crying, like oh my god, you're please, like, Oh, if there's anything you can do to help me, I really appreciate it. Getting all that stuff is expensive. So I was like, oh God, if you could just get some I don't know, cutlery, maybe like a pots, pots and pans or something. I'm thinking I'd like, you know, just get a set of knives and some pots and pans or whatever. And this is in 2014, mine. They got me a Nespresso machine. Like in 2014, I did not know anyone apart from my nan and granddad who, <laughs> my nan and granddad who had an Nespresso machine. This was before it was more normal to have a coffee machine in your gaff. Like obviously now you can get them 
um, you know, relatively affordable. You can get like, can you get some for about £40? So they're a lot more affordable these days. Anyway, back then, no, no one had a coffee machine. I didn't have a coffee machine. I was just a, like, what was I? I was just a, I was just a 20 year old who like went and got a frappe from Starbucks or whatever. Anyway, it was just so funny because I was one of the poorest in my year at drama school by far. Yeah, I had a Nespresso coffee machine. It just didn't make sense. It was like, I had three jobs at drama school, <laughs> but I had a coffee machine. Anyway, coffee machine died. I was devastated. But I messaged my granddad. I was like, I just want you to know how well I've taken it does. I want you to know how well I've taken care of that coffee machine you got me when I was 20 because I'm 28 now and it's only just it's only just decided to mm, enough is enough and I do think that is because I probably overused it I mean it, it was used so my granddad was like we'll get you a new one and I was like I wasn't even messaging you for that I just wanted to let you know like because he, he takes such, such good care of his stuff you know his 80s 1983 Minolta camera film camera was what we used for the wedding like blah 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 um, so he takes really good care of things and I've learned to do the same. Um, so I just wanted to tell him, but I guess it's kind of like a wedding present from my nan and granddad. Um, even though it will probably just be me that uses it. Got some ASMR. Yay! I love, I love when they do this and they're like... Oh, look. Coffee machine tats, isn't that exciting? Guys, 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 it's the first brew. Good morning, it's Monday. I've gone for total comfort on my um on my outfit today. Woo! Going down to the Midlands for a few days to see some family. So let's go. Do you stop tomorrow? Haven't really been vlogging, cutie. Stratford's cute. So we're having a a slideshow at my nan and granddad's, and uh, my Scorpio rising's really, really showing. Bog off. <laughs> like this is the most metal album cover I've seen in ages, and it's also the best. That is such a funny photo of us. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. It is. It's, yeah, it's such a good camera. So this is the same camera that we took our wedding photos on. It's so cool that the camera's still going. You like the reflection. So I was always vain. I'm looking at myself like, right, you've got this. Just tie the bubble around the front piece of the hair and make it even. <laughs> oh, Lola, look at us now. <laughs> I actually can't deal with it. What? The teeth. What? <laughs> <laughs> more teeth than I've ever seen. I've only seen teeth like that in a crocodile. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a goodie bag I got free when I ordered the cult beauty advent calendar. And I am so excited about all this stuff. Hi, long time no speak. Well, no, for you, you've like just seen this. I can't remember the last time I vlogged anything. Um, what, what was I doing? I went down to see family at the start of this week. 
and it's my sister's birthday tomorrow but we're going out tonight so i my cousin's staying with me i'm just about to make a coffee with Anne, a healthy queen um she said that she's using something that apparently is not very good for you but i i, I do struggle to find okay, she now got my new coffee machine it's here i remember that some um a lot of the oat milk just doesn't froth in the machine so it's got a froth my room is looking very <laughs> yellow in this lighting it's not it's just a salt lamp and that lamp but for some reason on here i don't know why it's just <laughs> it's coming up very yellow but this is my outfit that you cannot see <laughs> and i'm off to my sister lola's now and we're gonna go out so let's go <laughs> I mean, you can't really see anything, but yeah. This just sums up like winter in Britain is so disgusting. It gives me the ick. Taking vitamin B12 oral spray and the vitamin D. I know. I know. Are you hungry? Yeah. Um, but I'm making a gingerbread latte because I, I just. I need, I need to stay awake. Um, I'm sat on the floor because I like sitting on the floor because I went to drama school and anyone that went to drama school likes sitting on floors. I'm just going to show you quickly what I got. So, I realised earlier this year that. I have not bought foundation in over a year. But the last time I bought any foundation was when I bought Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I know isn't technically a foundation for you, you know. Um, I bought that last, at some point last winter. So I got my favorite foundation because this stuff doesn't budge. Like if you're at a festival gig or whatever and you get a bit sweaty, this stuff, I'm, be, I, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on I did click and collect at John Lewis and I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with the packaging. I've got the colour 3W2 Cashew just because it's the one I always buy. Um, that's what it looks like. It's just this with the Urban Decay setting spray. It just, it just doesn't move and I wore it on my wedding day and I cried a lot and it just didn't move. And I had that makeup on for nearly three days. <laughs> three days I had that makeup on, it just didn't move. Um, is that... I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it. Um, <laughs> I get the expense of hummus now. Uh, the next thing I picked up was actually um, some film for, oh my God, turtle! Oh my God, he's like, I picked up some film, photos from a wedding. I'll give you a little sneak peek, it's not a sneak peek because I've, po I've posted these. We get e emailed them when they come through. What's going on here? Um, so yeah, just some film photos. That's cool. Um, yeah, I picked them all up. Basically, uh, um, we use this place in Liverpool to get our photos done. And we took our roll of honeymoon film to the, to the place and the woman accidentally burnt like the chemicals or something. She used the wrong chemicals, so we've lost all of those photos. We do have some honeymoon photos, but yeah, she she uh, effed it basically and lost all of the photos. I think they just rang Faisal up and was like, yeah, there's nothing on this film. Like there's no photos on there. And he was like, yeah, there, there, there is. And he was like, oh, I know what she's done. So we were gutted. So when we took our wedding filming, we were like, Look, we want to keep coming to you guys because you're you're really good, but you destroyed our honeymoon photos. So we were like, can you do something for us? So all of those photos he prints. Stop it! All of those photos he did print, he sent us them for free. So that was good. So we did save quite a bit of money because you have to pay separately when you print them. And then when you get them like scanned and emailed to you, but he did it all for free, which I think is... Is the least that they can do. Next thing, oh, I've just. 
loves it. Then I went to the shop on Bold Street because they do um, fried tofu, like mini fried tofu cubes. And I've been obsessed with like having noodles, loads of veg and then fried tofu with the Wagamama firecracker sauce. It's just, it's just lovely. Favorite chocolate is Hugo vegan chocolate bar. And then I got some bits, I thrifted some bits. I got this like cardigan which is like really stretchy um but i thought it was cute i'll probably wear it as a jumper i really this year really like wearing white i think it compliments me um uh, it doesn't wash me out so i thought that'd be cute that would just be cute with like it's just cute in it <laughs> i don't know i'm not i'm not a fashion easter okay and i found this waistcoat look at that that's just so oh my god i love that the waistcoat because i wore a waistcoat at the weekend for my sister's birthday i look, I look really hot it was just it was i just, I just look great and then faisal i'll <laughs> i'll try and insert a video or something here faisal's got a welsh like a wales flag christmas jumper that he got from mns if you, mns in liverpool um i guess we're close to wales but it's creasing and he got it for tour because it's so cold in the parts of America he is right now. And I was like, I want one. Because <laughs> he can't have something, I have to have it too. And I was like, all my Christmas jumpers I donated early this year, I took them to a charity shop because they're really small. They're like, they're, I wear like kids ones. Um, but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a woman now and I thought I wanted a big one. So I thought this was so cute. Look at that. I'm not a very Christmassy person, but I get cold. And I thought that'd be cute to get cozy in around Christmas, right? Oh my God, I'm so embarrassing. But the back of it's well, the back of it. Oh, that is cute, isn't it? Like, it, like I think that's cute and I don't like Christmas. That was seven pounds and ribbery. Have a nice day. <laughs> that's the brand, I thought it was cute. And then I know I mentioned the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've been wanting to try the dupe for ages because I've been running out of mine. Um, and so I went looking for a dupe and I found this one. This is the collection filter finish. So I'm going to try it. But then they had that deal on where it was like, you but you spend 20 quid, get something for free. And I always fall for it. But I mean, to be fair, you get this, the Revolution Matte Fix is a, is a good setting spray to be fair. Um, a nice lipstick, a mascara, and a clear mascara. Then I also got uh, the Stay Matte Powder because this is good. Like if I'm traveling or if I'm on a shoot where I do my own makeup, then that's good because I get oily, and you just need to like you just need to power it up. Then I got a um, brown lip liner, and. Uh, uh, I don't know why I got a liquid eyeliner because I can't do it. I know. And then the that's the perfection concealer, the collection of the perfection concealer. Um.